Here's a quick recap. First Finland raises the tax on alcohol from the beginning of September. We'll go to Estonia to buy cheaper booze in August and soon after return to Finland, we find out that Estonia will also raise the tax from the beginning of 2010. You politicians make Ernol's life difficult on purpose. Now we have to go back again before the price difference between the two is too insignificant. Sure, we could travel every now and then to refill our cellars, but there's a limit for everything. This exhausting frequency will eat up our wallets. It's the end of 2009 and weather isn't so nice anymore. So no Sweden and Åland Islands for this time. All our resources now serve only one single purpose. To bring cheaper alcohol from Estonia to Finland before it's too late. This time we don't have the time and money to take the scenic route, and I don't think that those scenes are worth seeing especially at this time of a year. So we'll choose the most common way for a Finn to go to Tallinn, a ferry from Helsinki. Sure, it's a bit too straight for Anna's taste, but we don't have much of a choice. As always, he'll forget all the nitpicking if I find some entertainment for him. And what kind of entertainment can you expect to find from ferries like this? Shopping, shopping and more shopping. Erno might rule after all these liquors here, but even he can understand my cynical approach to all of this. Come on! This ferry arrives to Estonia in just a few hours and you want to buy alcohol from here! With these prices! Are you all staying on this boat so you can't even stop by those enormous liquor stores at the harbor? With alcohol at almost half price! Are you nuts? Thanks Erno, now I get it. You have to start drinking already while you're going to Tallinn. It is a must to drink as much as you can on the ferry. <laughs> now this all makes sense. It may be even more acceptable to drink here than on the mainland. You know, your neighbor isn't watching and possibly disapproving of your accents. How about leaving the wife at home, traveling only with your fellow employees? A good time to get totally wasted and try out some hookers in Tallinn. This is also a great time to try out some manly fighting routines. All the violence that occurs on ferries counts as happening on the Åland Islands, making it the most violent place in Finland. Starting a fight won't affect the reputation on your hometown, instead that annoyingly happy Swedish-speaking paradise gets all the blame. Haha, <laughs> no wonder why the statistical flaw hasn't been changed. Politicians exploit it as well. Finally Tallinn. This time the harbor area isn't full of drunk fins, but I guess it's better this way. If I try to shoot them, I will probably be killed. Getting myself shot to death is not on my schedule. We stay at the same hostel as last time. Unlike during the summer, we can't have the same kind of cozy room, as they have only dorms available during the winter. At least we're lucky by not having any other travelers in our dorm room. Not because I have something against other people, but for their own enjoyable stay in Tallinn, they had better avoid our company. Last time we were able to go out more and do stuff, not just hanging around here at the hostel. My only way to keep Erna happy is to give him booze to cure all the boredom. Boredom and booze, it's sometimes very bad cocktail for him. Holy shit, this doesn't look good at all. <laughs> this time I'm lucky. Now he is unconscious due to severe intoxication and I am able to enjoy my delicious dark porter. A quality beer in peace. What a bliss. Mm. Oh hell, it looks like we're going to have some company as more guests are coming. And Erna has been drinking since the morning. We must go to another hostel. Luckily this isn't such a crowded season in Tallinn. Because of this I can book a room from a cheap hotel. It's more expensive than the hostel but not too much. But the overall standard is also higher. 
and we're not going to stay many nights anyway. Now I just have to keep the key to the mini bar, otherwise Erna will drink me to into bankruptcy. I know he's looking for an expensive gay club to go. Better go to the old town to avoid all the streets that might have such places. At this point I may not be able to stop him from going wherever he wants. Just like for humans, sometimes binge drinking escalates and leads to violence. He left me little choice. At this time of year it's so easy to sleep through the bright time of day, that it's so damn short at this latitude. And no wonder why so many are depressed and try to cure it by drinking a lot. Speaking of which, now I can't sleep. Not with this company. Well, at least I'm awake at this time of the day. Let's use this opportunity and look around. Yeah, the question is, how much do you drink? If you ask me, way too fucking much. Good riddance. I'm sick of his aggressive drunk behavior and constant demands. I hope that no one opens the locker no matter how much noise he makes. Hmm, this gives me a good chance to go on my own. Hey, a train to Tartu. Well, why not? Tartu, here I come. <laughs> 